Here we presents the top 5 best all-in-one computers. Starting at number 5, Lenovo Idea Center Yoga A940. The Idea Center Yoga A940 is Lenovo's take on Microsoft Surface Studio concept, that is, a convertible all in one desktop. Like the studios, the A940's touchscreen reclines for use as a digital drafting board, making it possible to sketch, model, and do general tasks all on one PC. Two useful accessories, a stylus in the Surface Dial like Precision Dial, come bundled, and the A940 packs a bit more speed than the Studio 2 at a lower price. By and large, the A940 hits its target, but it underwhelms in places, notably in the quality of its build and screen. The Surface Studio 2 remains our top pick in this admittedly niche category of PCs, but if you're on a tighter budget, and the concept syncs with your workflow, the Yoga 940 is a unique functional alternative. On its own merits, the Idea Center Yoga A940 is a uniquely handy desktop. The concept behind all-in-one PCs like this, and the Surface Studio is that they simultaneously serve as professional PCs for work, and as sketch panels for digital creation. To this end, Lenovo's desktop works. The display measures 27 inches diagonally, with a two-pronged rear hinge that lets you stand it upright like a normal desktop monitor, or lean it back at a steep slant for easier drawing and other creative endeavors, stopping at any degree of incline in its range. The maximum recline angle is 25 degrees, it doesn't go completely flat, nor could it with the base in the way. The hinge takes a tad more force to move than you may expect, but it won't slip out of position too easily when in use. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. At number 4, Dell Inspired 27 7000. For some tasks, especially sharing your photos or updating the family budget, a big screen all-in-one desktop PC like the Dell Inspired 27 7000 is far more useful than a laptop. It doesn't offer a 4K display, or a particularly powerful CPU, but this 27-inch AIO gets the basics right, and comes in at a palatable price. The Inspire isn't as well-rounded as the far more expensive 27-inch Apple iMac, but it will serve home users who don't need cutting-edge computing components just fine. Available in black or white with silver accents, the Inspire 27 7000 has been significantly redesigned for 2019. It's now sleeker and more modern, but it also takes a few cues from the blend-in with your decor aesthetic of smart home devices like the Google Home Mini. With narrower borders around the screen and a smaller chassis overall, it also looks more like a monitor than a complete PC. A tape measure confirms the slimming effect, stand included, the Dell measures 14. 3 by 24 by 1. 7 inches, compared with 15. 5 by 24. 2 by 2. 1 inches for its predecessor. Due to a bulkier stand and thicker display bezels, the 27-inch iMac measures 20. 3 by 25. 6 by 8 inches. But the Apple AIO offers two vastly superior features, an internal power supply and enough cooling for a desktop rather than notebook-class EPU and GPU, that help justify its size. With the Inspiron, you'll have to find room for an external power brick that's much larger than the one that comes with most mainstream laptops. That could be a problem if you intend to install the system on a kitchen counter or other tight spot with limited room to hide power cables. Halfway of my list at number 3, Microsoft Surface Studio 2. In its time, the original Microsoft Surface Studio was the most elegantly realized vision of a swift all-in-one desktop and a digital, pen-enabled drawing board combined. Digital art creation, engineering, architecture, and other professions that employ touch displays often rely on multiple products in their workflows, graphics tablets, secondary displays for palettes and timelines, specialized input devices, and the Surface Studio wrapped up much of this into one package. Its Surface Studio 2 sequel refines it with faster internal components packing more grunt for demanding workloads, a lightning-fast M2 solid-state drive, a newer processor, and a potent NVIDIA Jeffers GTX 1060 or GTX 1070 graphics chip. It's a pricey proposition, and not in the class of workstation-grade PCs, but for the pros and creatives who need its specific touch-centric talents, this is a killer machine. In terms of the physical design, very little has changed from the original Surface Studio, which was innovative when it launched and remains so. 
Microsoft has again opted to store all the components in the base, rather than behind the 28-inch display, allowing for an extremely thin display panel. No doubt, some of the visual inspiration is from the Apple iMac, but the difference is in the emphasis on touch input, and that is reflected in the rear hinge. Two metal arms extend from the base to hold up the screen, meeting in the middle at a hinge that allows you to use the screen vertically or flex it down horizontally. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. Coming in at number 2. Asus M241. You may have started your shopping for an all-in-one desktop by eyeing Apple's iMac before quickly determining it doesn't fit your budget. After all, the cheapest iMac costs $1,099, and that's for the small, 21. 5-inch model. A good fallback option for would-be iMac owners is the HP Pavilion 24 All-in-One, which won an Editor's Choice Award last year, and delivers an attractive design and a 24-inch display for around $700. If even that sum is still too large, then the Asus M241 is a very good bet. A Windows 10-based iMac alike, that rings in at $639 on Amazon, this 24-inch all-in-one provides ample performance and a dazzling design at an aggressive price. It's our new editor's choice pick for bare-budget all-in-ones. We reviewed the baseline Asus M241 model, which features a 23. 8-inch, non-touch display powered by an AMD Ryzen 3 3250U CPU, 8GB RAM, and a 256GB SSD. On Amazon, you can find M241 models with more RAM and loftier storage capacity based on the same Ryzen 3 CPU, all the way up to a mouth-watering configuration with 32GB of RAM and a 2TB SSD for $1,099. In addition, Best Buy sells a Ryzen 5-based model with 8GB of RAM and a 256GB SSD for $700. Whichever model you choose, it might get mistaken at first blush for a golden iMac. The Asus M241 features a metal, L-shaped stand that looks similar to the iMac space. And like the iMac, a speaker bar runs the width of the system below the display, although the M241 speaker bar is thinner than the iMac's at only 0.9 inch thick. And number 1. Apple iMac 27-inch. With significant changes going on beneath its familiar exterior, the revamped for 2020 27-inch version of the Apple iMac bolsters its claim to being the best large-screen all-in-one computer you can buy. Improvements include the option for a 10-core Intel Core i9 processor, updated AMD Radeon Pro graphics, and a vastly better 1080p camera just in time for the video conferencing era. While it starts at a reasonable $1,799, the 27-inch iMac can get pricey once configured with sensible extras, like the $4,499 version reviewed her. But with so few competitors in this category of desktop, the iMac stands out as the obvious choice for someone willing to pay for a lot of computing power and other unique features in a sleek all-in-one package. While there is healthy competition from Windows alternatives to the smaller 21, 5-inch iMac, which remains on the market too, the larger flagship 27-inch Apple AIO has occupied a relatively empty space at the top of the market for quite some time. And Apple knows it. The company has bestowed few major changes on the iMac in the past few years, mostly just improving processing power as Intel and AMD release new silicon. This year, the improvements are more significant, though they don't represent a complete redesign of the form factor. The 27-inch iMac looks mostly the same as it has since 2015. You might think of it as a modern classic, with thick, prominent black borders, bezels, surrounding the gorgeous retina display and silver aluminum encasing the rest of the minimalist enclosure. On the 21. 5-inch iMac, the black borders seem oversized and outdated in a world of ever-slimming laptop bezels, but here they look anything but stodgy. The big screen carries them, and vice versa. I have included these product link in the description. You can check out this link for more information and latest price. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button. Share with your friends. And be sure to subscribe.